Hey y'all, it's Tuesday. Today is such a exciting day. Later on in the day, it's 4.38. Today is the day I find out whether or not I'm going to be getting the place I want or not. <sighs> I'm gonna talk about that. I just checked the mail and I'm pretty sure this is my credit card. My credit card expired before I moved to Atlanta. So like over two years ago and I just never got another one. I think they sent one out when it expired, but it was to like my old place. And I just never got another one. But recently I was like, let me get a card. Let me get a card. Let me get my card back. Oh, it looks different. Oh, it looks different. I got to activate it. I don't need none of this. I could throw all this away. I have a bunch of Amazon packages sitting in front of me, but they're all like for the new place. So I got two packages I want to show y'all that came from Amazon. This first one is a wheel repair kit. Basically, it's for my rims that I done fucked up. <laughs> I think it's kind of like a Sharpie marker. It comes with this little marker. It also comes with some tape. Um, this little thingy. And then an alcohol pad. So probably the alcohol pad is to clean it off. This seems like self-explanatory so I shouldn't have to read the directions. So we'll probably do that a little bit later. Then I bought some liquid iron. I see this all iron. Iron. <laughs> I see this all over TikTok and I've heard nothing but good reviews about it. I am a low iron girly. I'm trying to get that together. I've heard this is so good. It says that it's called Floor Floridots. Florida Floridots. This is what it looks like. It says it supports healthy iron levels to maintain energy. It's easily observed and eat absorbed and easily easy to digest i wonder when you open this so you got to put it in the refrigerator i'm sure directions take twice a day shake well take 30 minutes before meals and refrigerate after opening so here's one of my tires this is like where i've jumped curves and messed them up very badly so we're gonna try to fix this first you gotta take the alcohol uh -huh. pad and wipe the spots okay now what do you need next i feel like you could have just used a sharpie to be honest I mean. oh it worked And this is the after. Obviously, it's not 100% like perfect, but it looks much better. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I just got out the shower. We're about to get ready because we're going on a cute little lunch day. Um, I'm going to, well, we're going to um, Rashida's restaurant. I was seeing it like all over TikTok and I want to try it out. I want to try it out. So, we're going to go at 1 o'clock. It's 11 right now. So, we're about to do our makeup, which I'm excited about because I've been into doing my makeup lately. And then obviously, I gotta fix my hair track loose over here. So, let me get myself together. I just wanted to say happy Wednesday. It's so weird because since Monday was a holiday, this week is just really zooming by for real. So, I'm sitting here doing my makeup, thinking about this damn menu. I looked at the menu yesterday, and I seen so many things that just look so good on this menu. I, I cannot wait to go. I didn't see, I was supposed to make a reservation for one, but I didn't, I couldn't find how to make a reservation anywhere, so hopefully we could just walk in. Hopefully. Hello. Hey, young lady. Hey, I'm good. Uh, just got off the phone with the owners. It's going to be ours. Uh, you know, they've left it in my hands. Um, 
But anyway, it's ours if we want it at this point. Um, I, but that's not even fair. Uh, not in this price range. I could see if we were, you know, two thousand dollars or something. But yeah. That. Of course, you get that back at the end if the property's taken care of. Mm -hmm. of um, so if you're good with that, then I say we probably got us a deal. Okay, and did they say anything about the washer and dryer? Yeah, they're going to do it. They're going to do a uh, brand new refrigerator, brand new washer and dryer, and they will put blinds up too. Okay. Perfect. So we can move forward. Okay, yep. And uh, move in date would be June 15th, or at least lease start date would be June 15th. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Well, as soon as I get to a spot where I can start working on a lease, uh, I'll let you know, and you know, we'll obviously we'll have to get together and sign that. We'll need those appliances delivered too. So, um, just to let you know, <coughs> excuse me, that may not happen till after you're in. Mm -hmm. uh, and, it may, and it may be best that way. Quite honestly, it works out pretty good when the tenants there because uh, if something happens and they scratch up the wall or whatever the case is, you can let us know that immediately, and we can make sure you're not uh, not in trouble over that. Okay. I'm a very happy girl. I could just cry right now, but I'm not because the face is beat. But I'm just so happy. And it's just like, y'all don't understand. Your girl has been going through it for like the past couple of months. And it's finally like over for real. Like, I finally got a place that I wanted and I'm I couldn't be more excited you know what I mean like I am just so excited don't get me wrong oh it's about to be a lot of money going out but it's so worth it because I feel like this is what God wants for me because that was my biggest thing like I of course like I'm a human so when you want something and it doesn't turn out how you wanted it to be of course you're going to be sad you know whatever but at the end of the day once I've cried my tears, I always say the same thing. Lord, I only want what you want for me. Like, okay, if this didn't work, you didn't see fit. But we got to go somewhere. You know what I mean? So I'm just so happy that I'm able to be somewhere I wanted to be. And I feel like this is where God wanted me to be. It was a long process. Like this whole thing. And I urge anybody, like if you're, if you're going... And you're looking for a new place. You, you don't want to renew your lease or whatever the case may be. Start early. My lease don't end to the end of July, y'all. I started this whole process like at the end of February. Because I just know how things are. Just imagine. It's May 31st right now. Just imagine if I would have started in May. Trying to go through this whole process. You never know what bumps are going to be in a row. What's going to happen. So just definitely start early. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so ready. I'm just, I could literally, I swear, if I didn't have this makeup on, I would be boohoo crying right now and just praising God because I'm just so thankful, y'all. I'm so thankful because, like, it worked out. That means I, I got God's approval. Like, that's how I feel. That's how I'm looking at it. I feel like God approved this because it was so many other things I wanted that did not work out for whatever reason beyond me. I don't understand why, but this worked out, which means this is what God wanted. And I'm just so excited. It's a brand new place. Um brand new everything like just brand new and when I first started this process I wasn't even looking for brand new like I was just looking for something nice you know just <laughs> brand new was not on my mind but I'm so thankful y'all I'm so thankful I'm so happy I just can't stop telling God thank you enough so I gotta hurry up I gotta finish curling up my hair and then trying to I'm trying to think in my head as I'm sitting here what I'm gonna put on but it, all right I'm happy with my outfit it's super cute if y'all watch my Miami vlog then y'all remember I got like this Zara top let me just try to show y'all real quick we still need to wash our hands and then put on some fragrance but I like this outfit these pants I got from Target you want to say hi hi <laughs> So here's the outfit. Um, like I said, these pants I got from Target. They were a part of somebody's collection. These like trouser pants. 
This shirt is from Zara. And then I think I'm going to carry this little Kelly dupe. I've been trying to carry it, but I never... I never choose it, so I think I'm going to carry it today. Probably not because it's so small. I don't know. But this is the outfit. I think it's cute. Hair came out cute. Makeup looks cute. We look cute. I'm actually going to wear Libre. This is the oil. So I'm going to put the oil on. And then, mm, should I do the regular or the, I'm going to do the intense. Libre makes me feel like real bossy. Like she on her shit. She know what she talking about. Mm. And then I'm gonna go in with the oil too. Oh, it's so strong, y'all. Y'all don't need to spray that much for real. I'm probably just gonna put on some slides too. I hate wearing shoes. Like, I just love slides so much. I do not like wearing shoes. Alright. And I'm wearing a watch today. My JBW watch. Cartier rings. Probably no earrings. Alright. It is, it's like hot. But the sun ain't out. Let's see. I have so many tabs open on my damn phone. Don't be making no sense. My CarPlay has not been working. I think because I need to update my phone. Super annoying. Ugh. This this is interesting. I don't know where I'm going. But say we almost there. Say we two minutes away. Make a right at this stop sign. And then I gotta get my stop sign. Turn right onto Peter Street Southwest. I don't know how I feel about this area. It's the restaurant. Do we gotta park on the street? We gotta park on the street. It's, it's giving street. They don't got valet? Uh-uh. It's not giving valet, y'all. Ooh. 800 feet. I hope they got valet. I really hope they got valet. Destination is on your right to 81 Peter. Okay, that's Street, it right Southwest. there. Where, where am I supposed to park at? It say you can park here, then it say no parking. This man just like chased me down to tell me I couldn't park my car right here. At this point, I want to go back home. I don't like stuff like this. Literally screaming, ma'am, 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 you cannot park right here. So why you got all this parking shit right here? I'm glad I didn't pay. All right, I found another parking lot. There's plenty of cars here, so everything should be all right. Let me. Y'all had the best time. Really enjoyed myself at the restaurant. Now I'm trying to walk back to my car and pray to God. It still got tires and we ain't got no boots. Hey y'all, I'm back home. 
I really enjoyed myself at the restaurant. What is the name of it? I think it's called like Frost. Let me get the name for y'all. So, yeah, Frost Bistro. It's like a brunch breakfast type place. I ended up getting oxtails and grits, and it was really good. My drink was okay. It was more juice than liquor, but whatever. They had hookah, which was a surprise because I didn't know they had hookah. But other than the area of the lo like the location, I really enjoyed myself, and I would probably go back. So that was cool. Um, Rashida and her husband was there so that was cool just to see them being like you know like hands-on with their actual restaurant back home I've switched out my clothes and we're gonna go to um Home Depot to get some boxes I want to start um going through all the stuff I don't know exactly where I'm gonna start at I might start in like the kitchen and just like going through things throwing things out or donating things just slowly start to like go through stuff go through all my clothes and just everything in the house because when I do move I only want to bring things that I want with me you know what I mean I only want to bring like things I normally use I don't want to just bring a whole bunch of junk with me so I'm starting to get some boxes and the process is going to get started so I'm excited. Like I told y'all earlier, it's just been like a long time coming, but I'm very excited for this new chapter in our lives and for this new place. I'm excited to decorate and all of that. I think now that I finally got like a yes, this is what we're doing. I think I'm going to go ahead and order my desk for my office because that desk been on back order and I haven't ordered it because I haven't had an address to send it to since it's on backward. I can't send it here. I think right now it's not going to come to like September, maybe October. And I want that desk. Like I'm so, I'm so like, I, I want that one. Like there's no other one I want, but that one. So I want to go ahead and order that desk. And are y'all... Yeah, y'all, I'm just so excited. So, if you're not subscribed, girl, you need to subscribe because it's about to get lit. We're about to move. We're about to move and we get decorate and just be in a new space, a new area, just new, 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 new. Today has just been a great day. I was able to catch up with my friend. I hadn't seen her in a while. We was just, like, talking and catching up, and it just feels so good. It's, you know, like... Catch up with your girlfriends, chit chat with your homegirls. So, yeah, I feel good. I'm happy. I just feel so good today. Today is like one of the best days I've had in a very long time. So, can anybody guess where I'm at? Starbucks. Here's the matcha. It look a little dark, y'all, but we're gonna try it out. It's good, y'all. Okay, you go ahead, I'm sorry. We made it to Home Depot. It's been a minute since I did this. They got extra large, heavy duty. These are $7. These are supposed to be heavy duty. But then you can get extra large, I guess, regular duty for $3.48. So that's what I'm getting. And then y'all, check this out. They have tapeless boxes, 448, which I don't trust, so I'm not getting those. I wanna get some of these small ones. You can pop that? Mm, yeah, I can. Use your teeth. Nothing. And get one of these. Where's the extras for this though? Like the replacements. Maybe I should just stick to these, cause I can buy, I know. How much, how, much, how much is that? This is $3.98. Mm, that's a good question. Alright, we got some boxes! I bought three different sizes. Dion keeps saying he getting some boxes from his job. He could put his shit in there, but I want my stuff in the cute boxes. Oh, <laughs> you the one! Put my shit in there. He didn't even want to come. He didn't even want to get no boxes. Honestly, y'all, I'm just so excited to start this process. Are you okay? It sounded like she was faking. 
Fox. Y'all already know what I'm watching. Chicago Man. I've never seen someone improve like that so close. No. I think she's faking. Mm -mm. I ain't going for it. I am not going for it yet. Do what you do. We're all pros. Mm -hmm. Never leave home unprepared. Just in case we end up in the hospital. This way? I'm going to keep y'all updated, but I think it's something going on with that daddy. Hey, y'all. Good morning. Happy Thursday, y'all. Last night, I definitely underestimated the caffeine that was in that matcha. I was up all night long. At like 3 o'clock in the morning, I took some melatonin. I was like, this is ridiculous. So it's 11.30 now, and I'm up. I really don't have nothing going on until later today at 4 o'clock. I'm going thrifting with Brit, so I'm excited about that. So we're gonna go thrifting, and then after that, we're gonna go to this like food hall. Ooh, I'm sorry. Okay, after thrifting, we're gonna go to this food hall, so that's gonna be exciting. So yeah, I'm just chilling for now. I want some food. I was gonna make me like a breakfast sandwich, but we don't have no cheese. I just don't feel like cooking. I'm gonna look on DoorDash and see like what they have because I want like breakfast food. I'm gonna go with um, Atlanta Breakfast Club. Before I moved here, when we just like used to visit here, we ate there before and I remember it being good. I think I got like the peach cobbler French toast. I really don't want that though. They got chicken and waffles. All right, y'all. We got the food. Y'all, I was definitely being big eyed because this is the, the scrambler that had the grits, the eggs, the sausage, and the cheese. I couldn't even finish this. And I got this whole other damn meal, which is the chicken and waffles. So, Deanna probably eat this later because I'm going to eat at like 6 o'clock. And it's like almost 1 o'clock now. So, but I'm kind of, when, when you say chicken and waffles, personally me, I'm always thinking like chicken wings. This is some type of chicken with no bone. So that's that's real interesting. But yeah, girl. We got all this left. All right, y'all. Let's open up this first because I don't know what it is. Oh, no. Oh, it's something from milk. Look, look how pretty. Amp up your brows. How freaking pretty. This is what it looks like. So we're gonna try these out. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, so the package I'm actually really excited about is these shoes I got from Tori. I wear some pants too. Oh, here they are, right on top. I'm very excited about these pants. They're like some cream colored trousers. So I got these like cream colored trousers. I hope these fit good because they were expensive. I'm about to try them on. These are cute. Look how long they are. I like these. Disregard the dogs. Love these. All right, so. I'm happy these fit good. If you were looking for some trousers, check out Tori. I got a size. <laughs> That's funny. I got a size 3T. Whatever that means. Oh, a 3 tall. I'm hilarious. That's why they so long, because I got them in tall. Because I'm a tall gal. Okay, so now for the shoes. I just think these are so cute. Hopefully I can fit them. So they're like these wedges with this like clear heel and then they're metallic silver. These look so cute. Let's try them on. What size did I get? I got an 11 and a half.
Oh, they look cute and they fit good. Let me show y'all. Super cute. They also had these in black too. So, if you don't like the silver. Super cute. Just give them a sticky. Cute. I got these in a size 11 and they said they were $50 and I just know I ain't spent $50 on these. So they had to be like on sale or something. Yeah, these look really cute on the feet too. These are cute. I swear I don't remember. Oh, I do remember ordering these little kitten heels. Some white. Just some little white, off-white, like little kitten heels. You know, just to throw on. Last pair I'm really excited about. These are like some Renee dupes. And when I seen these, at first I didn't know if I liked them or not. Oh, hold up now, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, they twist up the leg. And they look like this, and they got girl, they got they got like a little real heel on it. I got these in a size 11 and a half as well, so let's try them on. Oh no, I think my pinky toe hanging off. It's me trying to hurry up and throw myself together when I had all day to get ready. Like I did nothing today, y'all. Absolutely nothing. And now it's 3.33 and I'm supposed to meet Britt at Goodwill at 4. And I'm trying to curl my hair. I want to do my makeup. Like, I want to look cute today. I wasted today doing absolutely nothing. I'm just going to curl a few pieces of Z hair. I what? Sometimes I just really aggravate myself because girl like what what happened? Seriously. Here's what I'm wearing was just this black t-shirt. The pants I got earlier today because I was pressed. <laughs> um Hermes slides and then it's back. I'm here at Goodwill, y'all. Trying to get my get myself together. Oh. I came here specifically, like looking for jeans, which I haven't found. Any. I found this skirt that I think could be cute with an outfit. This blazer is a yes. I really think it's cute, even with this outfit. Super cute. I've been wanting a black blazer and this one is so cute. Fits good. Love this. Y'all, that was actually fun. Finding those super cute blazers that fit well makes me want to thrift more. Um, Now we're about to go to this food hall. I'm so hot. Like, it's so hot out here. We're about to go to this food hall. Uh, it says it's 13 minutes away, so I'll see y'all there. back home i had such a good time hanging with brit as always i got some goodies because she's doing like a major clean out and brit has so many fragrances so she's selling a bunch i'm gonna after i show y'all what i bought i'm gonna show you i'm gonna tell y'all like what's still available if y'all are interested in anything but i bought a bunch of stuff i already know i love byredo mojave ghost so i got the 
I got the Mojave Glo Ghost Lotion. I got this Byredo Bibliotique. Bibli Bibli I don't know how to pronounce it, but I bought this candle before. Absolutely loved it. Mmm, it smells so good. This candle, absolutely love it. it. Smells so, so good. The Ball Del Freak, I believe that's how you say it. She had that as well. She said she really wasn't a fan of it. And I I just blind bought this because everybody raves about this fragrance. Everybody says it smells just so good. So I was like, you got the big bottle. Just let me buy it. Mm. And I like it. She said it was fresh. And it is, but it smells so good to me. I really like this. So I have the big bottle of this. And I also got the Byredo um, Mojave Ghost hairspray, like hair perfume. I got Greenwich Village Bye Bye Number no. 9 Candle. Mm. It smells so good. So that's all the stuff I bought from Brit. Let me let me just let y'all know like what she still got available. And everything is like a great price. So she has this Madison Avenue 250. But also 250. I have this one, y'all. It smells really good. This is like a men's fragrance, but if you mix it with something sweet, it smells really good. This is Lafayette Street. It smells so good, y'all. Indeed, she has Greenwich Village, Nolita, and Highline. All three of those bottles are 300 each. 60, so. You really can't beat that. I know. Y'all know. This is my favorite fragrance. Which is Bond Number no. 9's Nomad. Y'all know how I feel about that. She got a big bottle of that. That she's selling for $300. I also have this Clive Christian. She got all these travel sizes. So you can test out all of them. These are $65 for all of them. She has Tribeca. She has a big Baccarat, y'all. The 6.8 bottle. I think that costs like $6.25. She's selling it for $4.75. Like the big bottle. Brand new. So, yeah. She has a bunch of stuff. She's also selling like some sunglasses. I'll have her Instagram. Well, y'all can DM me, actually. So, y'all can DM me just to make it easier. Y'all can DM me if y'all are interested. And, you know, we could just get it shipped out to you or whatever. You know. So, yeah. I got my stuff. I'm so happy with it. Like, I'm so happy with my stuff. Especially this, um, Baldell Freak. Because I've been wanting this. Like, I just really, it's not that I wanted it. I really wanted to smell it. And I like it. Good morning. I gotta call these people real quick. I just wanna short now. How can I help you? Hello, I believe I called earlier about um getting my windshield replaced today. Yeah. Okay. Um did you schedule an appointment? I did and I said I was gonna call back. Um, oh, okay. Um did you wanna schedule an appointment? Yes. They they come out to you, right? I believe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and what's the year make and model of your vehicle? Twenty twenty one Fort Bronco Sport. It's the um the rear the back window. Not the like the windshield in the back, but the passenger passenger side. Okay, so it's the rear passenger door glass. Yes. Okay, so total cost is so you're looking at three thirty nine ninety four plus taxes. Okay. Uh, and we can set you up for if you want something for today? If possible. And we have a 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. Not a regular Bronco Bronco Sport. Mm -hmm. And then the glass is on the right side of the car. If you're looking, I mean the right side of the car. Yes. Not on the front of the side. Oh, I just had to get that all sorted out. Somebody freaking um, bust my window last night. Well, mine and a couple other cars, too. And I just feel like it was for no reason. Because I can't speak for the other cars. But nothing was taken out of my car, which it wasn't much. 
in there i only had like i had my chanel sunglasses in there and i had like a 20 dollar bill a five dollar bill and like some ones everything was still left in there so i don't know um i'm glad that we found out about it like right after it happened it happened probably it had to happen like a little after um midnight our neighbor knocked on our door he called the police or whatever and we went down there and went to go get all the glass out the car last night so this morning when I woke up, y'all heard me. I just had to find somebody to fix the windshield. I mean, not the windshield, but the window. Which, that's money I didn't plan on spending. But let's just thank God that we have it to get it done. So, that's that. I got a package from Dove. I think it's like aluminum-free deodorant. Which, I've always wanted to get into. I just, it just don't be working. So, oh, look at these drinks. Hop water, sparkling hop water. Um, crafted with, uh, I know that word. I know what that word means. I know what that word means. That word, uh, adaptogens. I think it's adaptogens. It's basically like when they put it in non-alcoholic drinks to just make it like uplift your move, your mood. Super cute. So they sent two of those and then they sent the deodorant, which is the Zero Free Spray Aluminum Deodorant. So I'm going to be trying this out. And it smells so good, y'all. I'm about to take a shower. I need to take a shower anyways. So yeah, I'm going to take a shower because I want to use that new deodorant. And then I got another package, but that's like stuff for the new place. I'm going to do like this huge... Amazon haul because I've been like just ordering so many things for the new place. But yeah, I um that they can come between two and six to fix the glass and they are gonna come to me. Just know that business is booming for windshield companies, unfortunately. Fortunately, unfortunately. So the food from yesterday, we about to eat that. Mm-hmm. I'm about to put it in the air fryer. Get these waffles back crispy. Yeah. Hi guys. So I have a few updates of just a bunch of different things. Real quick. Let me find somewhere to sit. First and foremost, this deodorant, so far so good. I haven't tested it out as far as like how it lasts up. Um because I haven't been nowhere. But I love the smell like I love this coconut and pink jasmine it smells really good and I don't feel like wet under my arms so I really like that I hate feeling wet under my arms that's just I don't like that so yeah so far so good um my window is currently getting fixed right now they actually moved the car so I guess he needed more space so the window is getting fixed after the window is fixed we're gonna go to Target because I need to pick some things up and the biggest update is the housing. So, I think y'all heard earlier in this vlog, basically the man called me and was like, it's yours. You know, he had to write up the lease, get everything done. So, yesterday went by and I hadn't heard anything from him. And the owners are wanting you to move in on June 15th. So, I kind of feel like this process could have been, should have been going like a little faster saying that you want me to move in June 15th and I got stuff that's on back order that I want to order but I'm not going to send anything to the house until I know like for sure for sure and I'm not closing you know all of my options until I know for for, for sure for sure I'm still going to look at another townhouse tomorrow actually because I just I just can't put all my eggs in one basket I just can't so um I didn't hear from like the man who I had been speaking to none yesterday and I was like hmm I felt like I should have you know heard from him by now so I texted him and I was like all right just checking on everything you know blah 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 and he informed me he hadn't heard anything back from the owners he said that he basically I guess sent over the lead. I don't know I don't know what he did I don't know what he was waiting to hear back from them about but he said he hasn't heard from them since you know they basically made that statement so I was just telling him like well okay like you know thanks for keeping me updated blah 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 and he just texted me back and said he feels like 
What did he say? He said, I'm starting to think someone is trying to buy it, but he could be wrong. I just feel like that's a little bit weird because the place is brand new. They just bought the place. So, I would have thought you would have bought the place to rent it out, you know, t to be a landlord and not sell. I don't know. People. Things happen, whatever. I don't know. I'm not even stressing over it at all. Because like I said, I'm going to look at one tomorrow. And I know the only thing that's keeping me from getting the one tomorrow is me. It, the ball is literally in my court. If I see it, I like it, I love it, it's mine. And that's just so crazy how God honestly just turned this whole situation around for me. I went from like not knowing what I was going to do to having actually multiple. Like, he's done. No. Well, y'all took the car. To the garage. Mm. He, the lady told me he was. They was bringing two windows because they didn't know which one was tenant or not. Okay. You didn't see the windows. Actually, I didn't even see a window. Only thing I seen was a big ass front glass in the back of his truck. Unless he got in the box. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He told me some shabby, sad shit. What? He would get sad like when they hit people cars around Christmas time. He was like, some of the parents be like sad and crying and stuff. That's people don't just have that type of money, and that's just so fucked up for real. But I can't even think about that. But long story short, I'm still excited because regardless, I'm moving. We're moving, but it's just. The bumps in a row is crazy. Like, way too much for me. Just, just way, 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 way too much. But it's okay. I'm good. Like, I, I'm just here for the ride. Whatever, whatever happens, happens. I need to walk back down there. Why? I'm asking that question. But yeah, I just wanted to update y'all. Once they finish with the car, I'm gonna get me something to eat. Y'all, I kind of want tacos from Chipotle, and I kind of want Blaze. I don't, I don't know which one I'm going to get. My face looks hella dry because it is. Because it is. I hate this. Ooh, when, I, when I be on my cycle, y'all, my energy just gets so low. Because I'm, I'm, I'm dying, you know, essentially. So, I, my energy has just been super... Super low. Oh, but I don't think I told y'all about the um the iron stuff. So the, it's not bad. I actually need to take it now. It's not bad. It's just it has it has a taste to it, but it's not like a horrible taste. It's it's tolerable, especially since it works. I probably won't know exactly until you know I halfway through the bottle or whatever. But it's not horrible. It's, it's definitely doable. Oh. Yeah, I'll be back. I'm back. I will say this: if I if if everything ends up working out with the townhouse, um, the brand new townhouse, the one that I got approved for, <laughs> um, if everything ends up working out with that one, the only real con to that is the moving date is June fifteenth. So, I won't be moving in June 15th, but the lease starts June 15th, which means they want their rent money. <laughs> um, and the pro to the next one is, and this man, he he's just by himself. Like, he's the property owner. He doesn't have a management company or anything, so he's just making up his own rules. So, he will let me move into that one on July 15th, which is better for me because my lease here isn't up until July 28th. So I can move into there July 15th and still be able to take my time and, you know, move everything out of here. The, a con to that place is the deposit is more since he, he do what he want to do. I think his deposit is like one and a half times the rent. And over here, I will only have to pay one times the rent. So, it is what it is. I'm just, I, I hope that I really like this place. Another con is the brand new place. It's like a townhouse community. Very small. Very, you know. But they had like a couple little amenities. Like they had a pool. And they had like a grilling area. Which I really liked. Because I felt like I had something. I think, I can't say for certain. I'll find out tomorrow. I don't think this um townhouse community has anything i'm not sure 
but I don't think it has nothing. But we're going to go see it tomorrow. I'm probably not going to be able to show y'all around because people are still living there. So I'm not going to be recording their house while I'm still there. So, yeah, I'm just, girl, I'm, I'm literally, like, where God want me to be is where I'm going to be at. I'm not stressing about it. I'm not crying about nothing. I'm not doing none of that. We're going to, we'll see. I hope that wherever I move to next, I get to see the sunrise. Well, when I wake up to see it. Because <laughs> it's always just so pretty. It's still trying to rise. It's early in the morning, y'all. Can y'all believe I'm freaking even up? Look at that. 6.39 a.m. I'm up because... Mm, I'm up because I went to sleep early last night. And I need to start working on this video because today's Saturday. And I'm also about to eat some pizza at 6.39 in the morning. Hmm. Just look how the living room is lit up, y'all. Like, oh my God. Like, wow. Are y'all like a sunset or sunrise type? Like, which one y'all like the most? I'm here for the sun rise. On the street of a house in which she's there about to go sit by the pool all day this swimsuit is from this swimsuit is from walmart and then this cover-up is from target we're going to try this out today i got this because of water talk we made it to the pool area it is it's hot y'all it's like 90 degrees hey y'all i'm so sorry that the vlog ended so unexpectedly i have so much to update y'all on again so definitely make sure you stay tuned for tuesday's upload i want to tell y'all about that tuna i made i need to give y'all updates on the housing and just much much more i didn't like the way the rest of the footage looked i had no idea why i was talking i had this big ass white ring around my mouth and i just I, I just could not put that footage on here. So definitely stay um, in the loop. Wait for Tuesday's upload because it's going to be lots and lots of updates. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for watching, supporting me. And if you are new here, definitely consider subscribing. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.